This video will be an overview of lifecycle services for Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. We will review functionality and tools of lifecycle services, asset library, task recorder, business process modeler, and how it can be used to identify and analyze gaps. To start, let's navigate to LCS portal. This screen shows all our recent and current projects. Projects are a key organizer of your experience in LCS. You can invite your colleagues and partners to participate in your projects. You can track your progress, etc. There are different types of projects available. Implementation projects, solution and migration projects, pre-sales projects, etc. Let's look into one of our projects. The first and most important thing you see on this page is the methodology, implementation methodology in this case. A methodology comprises various tools, processes, workflows, templates, procedures, samples, etc. There are five main stages in the implementation methodology. Analysis, design and develop, test, deploy, and operate. Each phase consists of a number of tasks. You can also create your own methodologies and use them in a project in LCS. By using the methodology that covers all the important goals of your implementation, the team can simply work smarter, gain better efficiency, and build an environment of continuous process improvement. Let's look at some of the LCS tools available. Asset Library is a repository of packages and database backups that can be applied to a deployed environment. Next tool we look at is Business Process Modeler, located here. Business Process Modeler lets you create, view, and modify standard process flows in D365. Business process is a collection of related activities to achieve a goal. It can be represented in a flowchart, including decision points and dependencies. Many organizations follow industry-specific terminology of business process. Record to report, order to cash, procure to pay, plan to produce. Each business process comprises one or many sub-processes. Those sub-processes help you visualize interdependencies in the business process and have links to each other. Here you can see three types of libraries available in BPM as follows. Project libraries, corporate libraries, and global libraries. Global libraries are available from Microsoft and can be used as a starting point to build your own. Corporate libraries. These libraries are owned by your organization. And project libraries. These are available for users within the LCS project. Let's look at the example from one of the global process libraries. Let's pick free text and voice creation. Look at the diagram. Here you can see process flow chart, process steps. This tool can be useful during gap analysis phase of implementation. You can use BPM libraries and add your requirements associated with customer business process. BPM helps to identify whether requirement is a gap or out of the box functionality. By using a task recorder, you can capture a business process as it runs in D365 and record it into the BPM library. Let's look into example how you would do it. Task recorder is a tool that you could use to record actions that you take in D365 user interface. When using task recorder, all events that you perform in the UI are recorded and captured. 
Task Recorder comes pre-installed with Dynamics, Finance, and Operations, and you can begin recording business process immediately after opening a web client. Let's click here. Task Recorder. Create new recording. Let's call it My Free Text Invoice. Click start to begin recording. You can see this ribbon appears on the top, which indicates the recording is in progress. Now you can do your steps. So in order to create free text invoice, let's go to sales ledger, all free text invoices, click new. Let's pick a customer. You can see everything is pre-populated from the customer master record, like the address, name, etc. Here we provide a description for our invoice, IT consulting. Pick a main account. In this case, it's a product sales. Pick a VAT group, AR domestic. Specify a price. You can also pick the financial dimensions. Click Save. You can also check the totals before you post. This is our subtotal, VAT, and invoice amount. Now we're ready to post. Click Post. Check the parameters and click OK. Now we can see operation is completed. Pretext invoice has been posted. Here we can stop recording. At this stage, Task Recorder proposed the following options. Save to your PC, save to Lifecycle Services, export as a Word document. We will do save to Lifecycle Services. However, before we do that, we need to go back, pick the Business Process Modeler, and make sure that the library exists. So we create a new library. Call it my new library create. Library created. I can go back and click save to lifecycle services. As you can see, my new library is picked. And these are the two default business processes that we can assign it to. So our recording will be assigned to one of those processes, which we can later rename. So click OK. Saving to Lifecycle Services was successful. Now we can go back to Lifecycle Services and open our library. That's the process that we picked. Let's modify the name. Free text invoice. In the description. Click save. And let's check the diagram. As you can see, the diagram was automatically generated using process steps that we followed. 
This is all our process steps. Go back to process modeler. After we check, we can mark as reviewed. Business process can also be saved as a Microsoft Word document. This allows you to easily produce principal training guides. Thank you for watching.